I'm excited to share with you our newest puzzle tool. It's a word scramble tool. This tool can be used for lots of different things. You can put them in different activity books. You can use it to create printables, but you can also use it to create social media posts. Let me show you how to use it. To get to the tool, click on Activity Books, Word Scramble Puzzle Tool. The first thing to do is set your trim size. I'm going to use 8.5 by 11. Next, you can cut and paste your words for your word search. I'm going to do a word search with shapes, and I have the shapes in a Excel file, so I can just cut and paste them from my spreadsheet into here. And then I am going to give this a different title. Okay, next I'm going to go into my puzzle settings, and I'm going to put how many words per puzzle I have. For this word search, I have 12 words, so I'm going to put 12, and I'm only going to do one right now. Now I can hit refresh, and I get a preview of what my puzzle is going to look like. There's a couple of different settings that you can use, so I'm going to go over them one at a time. The first one is you can choose between uppercase and lowercase. This was uppercase, and this is what it looks like in lowercase. The next option you have is whether or not you want to have an equal sign in the middle. So this was with equal sign, and this is without. I personally like it with equal sign, so I'm going to put it back to that. The next thing you can do is put whether or not you want to put a space if you have if you're using phrases. For these, this word search, I'm only using one word for each one of my puzzles here. These don't really apply to this one, so I'll, I'll do another one in a little bit and I'll show you what those do. But one of the other things you can do is pick what you want over on this side for your blank spaces. So you can use dashes, you can use underline, or you can just leave it blank. Let's go back to dashes. Now, if you want the dashes to be exactly the same number as the letters, you want to go over here to for dashes and say add space between the dashes. And now you will have exactly the same number of dashes as you have letters on this other side. When you get your puzzle the way you want it, you can click on the download button. And there's the puzzle. So we have the puzzle and then we have an answer page. Now let's show you what you can do with clues that have multiple words. So if you want, if you have a phrase, like this one here is the phrase purple rain, you can change this setting for words and scrambled phrases to add space between words. And this is what that would look like. So now purple is over here and rain is over here. And every one of these is individual word. You can do the same thing on this side if you want by doing add space between dashes. And now you have exactly the same number of dashes here as you have letters here. And the same thing for the second word. And that's the same for all of, all of them. You can still do underlines and that will leave a little space between so people will know that you have one word and another word and if you want them to have to unscramble the entire phrase you can leave that as no space between words and it's all mixed up here together if you want you can do colors you could add a background color let's say you want to make a social media post. You could do background color, you could change the title color, you can change the words to a different color if you want. That's what that would look like. And then if you want a specific title 
You can change this to different titles and you could say unscramble the song titles. And because I'm saying two puzzles, I need to have that there twice. Then you refresh. This is what that would look like. And if you were to download it, then you see you have one scramble titles, another one, and then you have your two answer pages. For the answer pages, you can pick between one, two, or four answer pages. So here's what it looks like with two. And let's set these back to a black background and to a white background and black text. Let's just show you what it's going to look like with four different puzzles. This one I'm going to do like this and change this to state because I did some states. Here's what it looks like. And then I want this to be all the same link. So I'm going to go over here and say no space. Now these are all lined up nicely. I'm going to do four puzzles and four answer pages. And this is what you end up with. And this is what your answer page will look like with four. Now for all the text on here, you can change the font sizes and you can change the font. So any font you've uploaded into your account, you can use here just like with any of the other tools. And that's pretty much everything you can do with the Word Scramble tool. If you have any questions about using it, please ask them in the comments below.